Then they came for the Punisher. Marvel Comics has embarked on the latest phase of its woke purity filter cultural cleansing by trying to memory hold the vigilante icon because they were mad he'd become a hero amongst conservatives. The Punisher character was originally created in the 70s, a time when crime in major cities was skyrocketing and there was an increasing sense that the state was losing control. His story arc was that after returning home as a military veteran, the Punisher sees his family killed in a gangland hit. The government does nothing about it, so he sets out to take his revenge on the criminals one by one. But in our progressive dystopia, violent criminals go unpunished. Thieves are allowed to fill their boots, open air drug use is permitted, the police are defunded, mobs of Antifa and BLM run wild. People like Kyle Rittenhouse and Daniel Perry are monstered while a narco tyranny takes hold. And in that paradigm, a character like the Punisher simply cannot be tolerated. So Marvel has basically killed him off. First they ditched the skull symbol, which had become popular among some on the right. Then they disarmed him by taking away his guns. Then instead of fighting against criminal organisations, they made him join one. They brought back his wife from the dead so she could divorce him, sell his houses and take his money. Yeah, really. But it's not enough simply to eliminate the character and pretend the whole story never existed. In the new comic, he's captured by progressive heroes and put through a humiliation ritual. A Maoist struggle session to permanently bury his legacy. Then he's demonised as a terrorist and a murderer as his entire moral framework, his reason for existing, is ripped out from under him. Zero Hedge writes, Marvel writers including original Punisher creator Jerry Conway specifically cite the popularity of the character amongst conservatives as the reason for his virtual elimination. As Newsweek noted, the Punisher was problematic for Marvel because conservatives liked him too much. He represents the everyman, he has no superpowers, he's not a billionaire like Batman, but he still fights evil with an immovable will and a lot of guns. Wokeism is a predatory cult. It cannot coexist with any competing ideologies. They must all be eliminated and never allowed to return. Even down to the granular level of problematic comic book characters. Imagine being such maniacal control freaks. That it's necessary to actively destroy a relatively obscure comic book character. Because his continued existence merely poses the potential of a threat. That he might become an aspirational symbol for your ideological adversaries. They salt the earth of the culture landscape with the aim of ensuring that the next generation never even knew what came before. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.